Hey, welcome back to the channel. This video will show you the installation of the Cardo Freedom 2 Plus. Specifically, I installed it on a Shoei RF 1200. The kit I purchased was the Freecom 2 Plus Duo. It does come with a boom mic if you have a modular helmet. Each headset has its items packaged in two separate packages. The packaging itself does present well and makes it easy to install each unit on each helmet. It also comes with an adhesive mount or a clip mount. My previous unit was an adhesive mount, so I had to carefully remove it with a specially designed tool shown here. If you have an old unit installed, you will need to start with removing the pads in your helmet to remove all the old mics, wires, and speakers. Once that is done, you can then plan your installation of your new unit. After test fitting the clip unit, I did like how it was very secure and mounted well, so I decided to ditch the adhesive and go with the clip mount. I started by installing the clip mount and then installing the left side speaker. And then fed the right hand speaker under the helmet padding to get to the other side. In this helmet, there is a small groove in the helmet molding for the wire for where the speaker goes. So look for this. It will help make the installation of the speaker much easier. This little shiny spot is that cutout. The RF1200 cutout fits these speakers perfectly. You then install the adhesive velcro piece that your mic will attach to. You then install the mic and route the wires behind the foam padding. You will now route the wires behind the cheek pads and finish installation of them. Connect the speakers and the mic to the base. At this point, the main installation is done. Now, the more difficult part. With everything connected, make sure that all the wires are routed properly so that they don't catch on anything, as well as they're not applying any pressure points to your head or your ears. After you get everything all routed, put your helmet on. Make sure you pay close attention to any pressure points. If you find a pressure point, make adjustments to either the speakers or the way the wires are routed to compensate and alleviate that pressure point. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up to support the channel.